every once in a while the market from a context area or standpoint gets to an area where I hit it really hard. Uh, now, I've been talking on prior videos how working the long side made a lot of sense down here. Uh, hit a lot of long side action. On the private equity fund accounts that we trade for, we're probably the heaviest long we've been ever on NAS 100 US 30 in uh, FX uh, tier one liquidity provider accounts uh, where they where they keep their funds, but uh, and then we trade everything uh, all fully automated. Uh, just massive, beautiful rally right up to key levels. So let's take a look at those levels. So this is a prominent area I was watching from before, and then we had this pivot where the market was trying to lift before, failed, and we went down, made new uh, lows, multi-month lows. So this was a very prominent level coming into today. To me, it was like a magnet, as was this level. Uh, and we have the markets right in this zone, kind of a hot zone, that I think is a prime area to look for cell setups now a person can just you know work the cell setups as a intraday trade but when i get this activity i also work it uh or i move to a different realm i kind of hit it as a structural trade just like i was a very active buyer uh in the in these this area on the round out and the lift uh out of the new multi-month lows now the market's at an area where i'm willing to uh, kind of play bigger position size and get onto what I consider a more significant trade, uh, working it to the short side. So I'm working this area now to the short side. Now, not something that, oh, yeah, I'm going to sell it and it's going to come all the way back down. I'm just saying this is an area that I very much expect institutionals that have been loading up and long. This is an area where it makes sense where they might start uh, thinning out positions uh, to, to in a sense, cash out and take some profits uh, from these uh, lower area, lower levels buying. Now, I'm not saying that this rally is over with by any means. I'm just saying uh, it could definitely get a pullback here intraday. Uh, or they could, they could grind it up, you know, all day, literally. Uh, but th this area and above, and let's look at that, this area and above is where the sellers are going to start showing up that want to take a shot at this market again. This area down below didn't really mean anything to me from a structural selling standpoint. Now that we've pressed above that pivot, uh, we've come up to that level. Everything from here on up is a prime area, and you know until we get up to this level. This, this is this all the way up is going to be area that I could see them taking shots at. So. Anyhow, let me adjust the chart here real quick so you can see a little bit better. Okay, so there you go. So we have a, a bit of a level right here. So right in this area, a little bit of a node there. That was a reactionary, a uh, bit of a reactionary move and got slapped down pretty quick. So there's not really a lot of uh, liquidity in here, I don't think. But you can see it was sold, sold, sold. Uh, the way and the length of this down leg makes this a very prominent pivot. That means very prominent selling came in, uh, you know, and that was during, if I remember, that was during U.S. cash session hours. So now that we're entertaining that level of price, I'm working it very aggressively here to the sell side. And here on up, I love it to be a seller. So... As the market works its way higher today, tomorrow, the next day, which I think it, it very well can, when you're getting excursions outside of the bands on the lower time frame, it's definitely an area to be willing uh, to take a shot at the market and work some short side action. Because you could, you could get a move or you get a 100, 150 point sell off uh, where there's some you know cashing out from institutional buying that came in at lower levels where they're thinning out some of the holdings they used on buy programs to push the market higher. So they go in and they'll buy value-based and stuff they feel is, uh, I guess you could say, more defensive, not the high flyers. They'll use that in conjunction with 
uh, high flyers to help push the market up, but then they'll lighten the load on the defensive stuff if they like the uh, transition the market's making and feel the market's going to move from what we've been in a very downward selling period, you know, August, September, uh, here in the beginning of October, now we're bounced. Uh, there's, I can feel it. There's a structural shift taking place uh, completely, and I think it has a lot to do with rumors of Fed slowing down. And I actually think the Fed should slow down. It makes a lot of sense. Uh, who, who are they to go in and just keep raising interest rates? Uh, they should have been raising interest rates back, you know, what, <laughs> a year, a year and a half prior to when they started raising them, when the economy was going, you know, super strong, uh, even dealing with COVID, the economy is still doing pretty good uh, out of the end of the Trump uh, period and into the beginning of Biden, where the market was basically coasting to the upside on the prior economic policies even though we we're dealing with uh, COVID, it was very, very strong and the money was too easy to access. I mean, it was just too much liquidity that was pumped into the market. So anyhow, this is a key area. I wanted to make sure you guys understand this. Let's go take a look at the lower time frame chart. Uh, every account, basically, I trade, I'm working shorts, whether it's a small account, whether it's one of the bigger futures count, we are full tilt off the long side game and now fading this uh, area price uh, and any excursions outside of the bands the rest of the day to the upside. So uh, as you can see, just a very, very key area, the way the market came up here, it was just like a magnet, makes a lot of sense why they came out here and blew out any shorts trying to hang on from prior days. They pretty much cleaned those out, but I love this area price. Uh, and we're getting a little bit of cycling where it does look like some institutionals are cycling out of stuff that they use to pump the market up, meaning, you know, they're, they're doing rotational activity uh, in the stock market with buy, buy and sell program activity, in this case, some, some initial selling. They're just unwinding part of the horsepower they used to help drive these markets up for a couple of days. So love this area price. And as I said, from here on up, really keep, and I'm not saying, you know, take every single short, just be aware of market context, but just be aware. We're now in an area that this area to me, not surprised we drove up to where we're at, but from here above, I guess I could say this is the bullish zone. We're moving into a neutral zone uh, where, you know, the, the market is less likely, unless it gets new stimulus, like the Fed basically came out and said, okay, we're done. We're going to take a break for a while. That would be very bullish and we could keep on going. Or let's say Ukraine and Russia get some sort of, you know, okay, let's take a break and and uh, have some sort of, you know, short-term peace agreement. Or economic news starts coming out much more positive than expected. Uh I would not be surprised, this is a very significant structural news, if there's no more, what I would say, catch you off guard, uh, earnings problems or news, this, we are in a market that could crawl higher uh, and, you know, be maybe higher at the end of October than where we are now. Now, that would be really nice. I think that'd be fantastic, be good for the economy, be good for you know, people in their retirement accounts related, but just be aware from a trading standpoint, this was an area to be scary as a seller because, you know, the structural, uh, uh, the amount of buying that was coming in and pumping this was institutions kind of changing directions, not for the long term necessarily, but short term. But now we're getting to an area where I know it's very common for them that they're going to need more, they're going to need more stimulus of you know they're going to need something to keep pushing it from here here it was easy to pump it from here on up they're going to have to do a lot more work so anyhow just wanted to point that out and uh give you guys some market context for you know rest of day today and then going into tomorrow so if you've got any questions on the new algo system just go to www.neu algo.com, newelgo.com, and uh, talk to you guys later.